We wanted to share this with you guys real quick to get some perspective on what you are thinking in this closest image of the sun ever taken. So to start with this image, we see plasma being ejected from the sun, and this is listed as a coronal streamer. We also see what is listed as the planet Mercury. Fair enough, right? But look closer at this image, guys. What are those black objects? They are appearing to be in an orbit around the sun just as Mercury is in the image. Now, what if we were to tell you that NASA has listed these anomalous objects as dark spots as a result of background correction? Those spots are weird in itself, and the fact that they have not explained them in the photo raises an eyebrow or two. Could they be deliberately editing a photo in such a way to monitor the public reaction, you have to wonder. Let us know about that, but what we really wanted to show you guys is this. It has long been theorized that Mercury has a moon, but never confirmed. Could this in fact be the first capture of a moon in orbit around the planet Mercury? One was briefly thought to exist in the early 1970s, but it turned out to be misinterpreted data from a star. Observation of a moon of Mercury from Earth would be difficult because Mercury is relatively close to the Sun. For example, Mercury was not observed in the infrared spectrum until 1995. A moon of Mercury was for a short time thought to exist. On March 27, 1974, two days before Mariner 10 made its flyby of Mercury, instruments began registering large amounts of ultraviolet radiation in the vicinity of Mercury. That, according to one astronomer, had no right to be there. By the next day, the radiation had disappeared. It reappeared three days later, appearing to originate from an object that was seemingly detached from Mercury. Some astronomers speculated that they had detected a star, but others argued that the object must be a moon, citing not only the two different directions from which the radiation had emanated, but also the belief that such high energy radiation could not penetrate very far through the interstellar medium. Argument in favor of a moon were strengthened when the object's speed was calculated to be four kilometers per second, which matched the expected speed of a moon. Could this latest mission from the Parker Solar Probe really have just discovered a moon? Why are they not announcing it to the public? Instead, they are posting photographs with no clear explanation other than mass ejection from the sun. Are they really more focused on the sun activity that they have not even noticed this? It is strange, all right, and it could turn out to be nothing, but from decades, this elusive moon of Mercury has bewildered astronomers. One day it is there, the next it is not. The data showed it existed in the 70s, and now it seems that this image, the first released by NASA at such a close distance of 16 million miles, shows an object that appears to be in orbit around Mercury. What do you think about this anyway? Comments below, and as always, thank you for watching.